Hello there everybody and welcome to episode 10 of my how to build an advanced 8-bit computer inside Minecraft. I ended the last video a tad abruptly because I didn't realise I was going to uh, end it there but uh, my computer was whining at me because I'd almost run out of hard drive space. That's down to my last uh, 50 gigs and if you haven't got fraps um, you should know that so if you have got fraps you'll know that the AVI files that come out of fraps when you're recording are humongous. It's like almost three and a half gigabytes for two minutes worth of recording so you can uh, you can imagine how much I take with 20 minute videos so yeah we um we got to the point where just we just extended the input lines to the ALU out to um, like an even length and now we can build our registers I um in the previous video I referred to the registers as RAM or registers but now I'm only going to refer to these parts as registers as RAM will come later Registers are like short term temporary memory which ALU can use after computing an answer from a given instruction. So this will do something and save it in here basically. And they are the registers. There will be seven of them and they will be called general purpose registers. They will be dual read which means that they have two outputs and that's good because we have two inputs. So yeah, that, uh, that's how that will work. So come to your first input and build up nine blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and then place, then come two across like that, so you've got three and then place redstone on top, and that is your first, this is where your first cell is going to be now I'm going to try and build this from memory, but I only actually designed this cell about half an hour ago, so um, it'll be some form of miracle if I've managed to memorize it in that period of time and I will also hopefully provide a schematic so if you can't follow you can just import it using MC edit not MC edit um what do you call it? Um uh, single play commands. Or MC edit if you really wanted to be yeah. anyhow, anyhow. Um I I realise that you don't actually want that there. You want it on the other side. So once you've built up your nine, build like three across, not two. Anyhow, so uh under that Come two down and place a piston facing down. Underneath that you want a block of redstone. Then you want to come down two, across one, and place a piece of redstone dust like that. On the back of here you want a torch, and I think I've already forgotten what comes next. Uh, let's, let's give it a shot. No, no, I can't remember. I don't want to make a mistake. Sorry about this dashing backwards and forwards, it's it's not ideal, but I haven't memorized it like I've done with like my other dolls and stuff. Okay, so that feeds that, that feeds that, that feeds that. And it's fairly straightforward thereafter, I hope. Um feeds that so I'm just trying to memorize it in the ten seconds of allocated time I'm giving myself. Um Okay then. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Let's go. Right, so that's there. Come down to and place a piece of redstone with a torch on the side. Come one to the side of that one and place a sticky piston facing down with a block on it. And now you want to get your half slabs. Um, I like the new quartz ones, but since we use stone in the rest, I'll carry on using stone. Because my OCD dictates that I have to do that. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't have OCD. Um, and they place, place so yeah you need to come like one full block down and then place a half slab underneath so when this is extended like that your repeater will feed into it and then you want to come underneath and hopefully this should line up nicely with your output and voila it does so I've got a feeling these might need to be um, half slabs but you know we'll uh, come to the problem when, uh, when it arrives so yeah after that we need to come down one more place one more oh my gosh there's one more block underneath it underneath that place a sticky piston underneath that place a block and then we have a bit of fanciness going on here um, you want to come below here one below here place a torch on the side of it and that torch when this is extended that will then be on top of it like that then we want repeater facing out and oop, have I just set that to two? Sorry, that needs to be one. 
Uh, yeah, so we need that to be a half slab there. On the side there we want a torch. And then underneath that, ah, this is what I can't remember. Um, I said it's day in, so 12 o'clock. Uh, let's do another mad dash. See what's going on here. Is it a... So that goes in there, and it is just... That torch just feeds directly into there. Hawkeye. Okay. Oops, sorry, no, let's say that. That's CNB saying. Okay, so... Uh, I didn't mean to place a piece of redstone there. Redstone block. That's not what I meant to do. Um, that like that. And then on the side of here you want to place a block. Underneath that, a half slab. Um, this also means that I've built something wrong here. Okay, so this repeater um, also needs to be on a half slab. Like that. Thank goodness for half slabs, I don't know what I'd do without them. Anyhow, let's carry on. So that will power that, which is powering the torch, which is powering this. And then we also want redstone running along here. So this is a second reed line. We have a first reed line here, which I forgot to add in. So let's see, do we want to go down or do we want to go up? Let's go down with the half slab. Like that. And make sure that is a half slab because when this is tiled, this will be next to this, and we don't want this powering this um, in the next cell. So yeah, that's uh, that's that. Ooh, let's see now, what do we have to do now? Um, that's pretty much it, to be honest. We can then just come here, place a torch, a piece of redstone. Try not to fall to death, that, that, might, that might help, you know. Being alive could just possibly help in these situations. So yeah, there we go. Voila, that is it done and dusted, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Let's see. Yeah, I, th I think it will be. I think it will be. So, as you can see, it lined up perfectly with our inputs. This is the read 1, and this is read 2, and they will go directly into that. So, we can place repeaters there, and repeater there. Just disappeared, you know. Uh, now we also need to add our right line, which goes here. Make sure that is a half slab, and then on the side of it, just a normal block. And now this is ready for stacking. I hope. Let's see. Yep, let, let's just leave it like that. Okay, so now we have one cell, we can stack it seven across, and then we also need to stack it like sideways as well. Um, let's, where should we select? We'll select here. Come up to the top and make sure we've got it all by coming there and selecting that block and fire off our stack command, stack 7 because we want 8 in total. As you can see, they've all nicely joined together, which is exactly what we want. So, yeah, let's see what now, what now, what now. Uh, uh, wow, wow, I should really plan these better. Okay, let's um. Just bung that in there. Get your button. Place that on the side. And if you want to be in, actually, no, I won't label it because labels, um, signs, sorry, don't stack too well. All the sign, all the writing disappears. But what we will do is we'll add a thing there. So this is write. That writes to memory. By writing to memory, I mean it simply updates the bud. So we have one coming through here, budding this piston, and writing it, effectively updating the bud. We'll then um, update this, uh, update this piston, and store that data. That then sets off a chain reaction all the way down here. And as you can see, we now have. Oh, let's have a look. This piston here. No, wait, wait, wait. This piston here is now extended so when we read something from there look we have an output because that repeater is powering that block powering the redstone and this is now extended so this torch powers the repeater that's just in there unpowering this which unpowers this piston raising it up 
and actually this needs to be inverted by default so that's like that and now we have nothing coming through and if we read it from the second output we have one and let's just see if our ALU is still working after the update one add one is two so we come through yay one add one is two because it uh, it adds by default so that's looking pretty nice we can now wait these are s not going to stack well I don't think you're best off just getting rid of that for the time being because stacking power pistons can be a pain in the backside they're alright usually when they're going down but you never know you don't want to take the risk so um, come out a few over here doesn't really matter how many and select your block and then you want to come make sure that's in line with the first block here and then get rid of that thing come all the way out to the side uh, so loop. Yep, you need to make sure you come and get the last bit as well be a bit annoying if you didn't get that bit and select that and just before it goes today we'll, uh, we'll stack it alright so we want I'm going to say 7 here and I'll explain later why we want 7 not 8 but uh, yeah we want 7 locations in fact let's uh, so we need to stack it 6 more times wait what? But one block changed cheers <laughs> Come back, come back, come back, come back to me. Sorry, I don't have a clue what happened there, so um, let's just do it again. <laughs> Select your block. Come all the way out. All the way out to here. And select that. Let's just um, update that before we stack it. Okay, so now we have that sorted, let's stack that seven, six times ok, what? what on earth? wow, what? what am I doing wrong here? am I just being stupid and doing the wrong things? Um, looks like we are going to have to set it to daytime time set 12 o'clock, midday ok, 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 so Pause one selected. Come all the way up here. Make sure you come out one more. Pause two selected. Stack undie. Stack six. There we go. I have no idea what was going on before. I think I was just being stupid and not selecting the right positions. So wow, look at that. And if by magic we now have registers. We have RAM. No, no, we don't have RAM, we have registers, sorry, I keep on saying that. Making me confused, guys. Let's just add our repeaters in there. Um, we're going to have to add more repeaters on the lines, on the uh, output lines, because the seventh register, all the way over there, the output isn't going to reach, so let's do that now. Let's um, give it an input. Read it and oh yep, that's what I also need to add in these. Let's do this first actually. Just add in uh add in an inverter there. And we can um should we stack that? Yeah we'll stack it. YOLO <laughs> What am I on about? Come up there and I think that should do it. Oh wait, no. That needs that needs to be here because it's three, not two. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah. Um, just to update them because they haven't updated the redstone. Okay, so now we have our RAM sorted. We can add the repeaters. So if we read there, and if we read there also we can see where we need to add a repeater ooh it's close it is close um, I wonder if I add a repeater there can I get rid of this one um, let, let, let's manually count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14
14 perfect so yeah we can just add a repeater in there I can't put the stack in so let's do it manually so that works like a gem um, looks like a charm sorry not a gem <laughs> uh, this make sure this when this is disappeared that will be there in fact let's just test it now see if it reaches and does and we should have a one as the output and we do lovely absolutely marvo um, and we can just do the same for this one as you can see since it's half slabs they travel up but they don't travel down but that doesn't matter we can come all the way across this is going to be a bit more of a pain wow this is going to be great pain where oh, oof. I didn't think of that. I'll be right back when I've got a fix for this. Righty then, we, I uh, I think I've got a fix. Let's uh, let's let's do this. Um, it's a bit complicated trying to add a repeater onto a uh, onto this line, but I think this should work. So come to your third cell, and on the slab place a repeater. Get rid of that block there. Get rid of that there, and then place that like that, and that like that so now what we have is when that is down this repeater will still power this redstone and then that will power the block itself powering this repeater adding more like not delay sorry more um, strength to the signal and that should then pass all along and it does nicely let's see where that leads to and are you kidding me are you kidding me we are one block away from success but you know stuff like this happens so um, yeah let's just there's no point getting rid of them we need them and we ought to uh, we ought to stack this because that's going to be a bit of a pain to do manually um, so follow carefully for this bit let's see what do we want we want to select that block so we yeah, want this one here and then let's come up and we want that there oh no I'm a fool I'm a fool Look, let's uh, let's do that again because I realise that's going to replace loads of stuff. Oh wow, this is confusing. Just going to do my head in. Oh wait, let, let's just try that. Let's try that. Let's see if that works. Stack seven. Oh, 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 oh! It works. Nice one. Nice one. So there we have. Oh wait, need to do the inputs on the top. Silly me. These will actually no. We'll uh, we'll wait until we bust the output back into here. We'll wait. Um, so yeah, let's turn it back to day and see what we've got left to do now. Um, you know, what, I'll uh, I'll end the video here. I think we've um, achieved quite a lot, and I can tell that it's been a long video, probably 15 minutes uh, at least. Just get rid of that. Uh, and let's just refresh that because once again, my OCD dictates everything I do, and I've missed the block. There. Anything else that I can see while I'm at it? Let's click the redstone. <laughs> um, okay, so I think we've done now. Yep, that's it. So now we have our ALU and we have our registers in place. I honestly did not expect to get that done in uh, the registers in two episodes, but you probably uh, you probably might split it up into a few episodes if you want to um, watch it um, bit by bit. So yeah, I'll I'll add a schematic into the description. So if you can't be bothered building it and following this video, you can just import them bit cheaty and uh, but yeah I'll release a world download when we finish this computer anyway so you'll have the whole thing at your fingertips if you don't want to build it so yeah um, my next video will hopefully be uh, a bit more f uh, a bit more frequent than this one was because I know it's been a while since I did the previous couple so yeah if you've enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and stick around for more